I'm living in one of the dangerous cities in the country, and that's hard to say, you know. Some people may not realize that Oakland is very, is very difficult to live in. You have a lot of poverty, you have a drugs, you have a lot of violence around you, and it's just hard to not be a part of that. So I feel like basketball was my way out. It's my meal ticket out. That's how I'm gonna survive. I grew up faster than most of my peers, so it was like, I learned more than I was supposed to. I saw more than I was supposed to. So basketball just made me put that foot in front of the other and was like, I gotta do this for me. Basketball has everything to do with who I am, like from how I perform in the classroom and on the court. Because with, without grades, I couldn't play basketball. Like, and without basketball, like I couldn't stay in school. The basketball is the only reason why I'm in school. Like, I know they say school is first priority, but to me, basketball is my first priority. School is just for me to play basketball, so I gotta do it. It's just something I have to do to like maintain what I love to do. When I have a ball in my hand, or when I see a basketball, like it's like that's the that's my key to the door to open the doors for my life. That's the only thing that I have to make it. So it's like it's not when I see it, it's not really a basketball to me. It's like a key. That's the only thing that I really have to get out of Oakland. I think young women using basketball as a safe haven is, is unbelievable. I mean, I think it's just a great choice that they made to devote their lives to basketball. I mean, develop their bodies, develop their minds, develop their discipline, their ability to be team players, and to just show the world, you know, what young women, what young, you know, women of color, young women from, you know, inner city communities can really be. I think that, you know, the girls at McClyman's that are on the basketball team and just the girls that are at McClyman's in general, um, they face a lot of uh, huge challenges, you know, given, um, you know, the, the community that, that they live in, for the most part, the girls are coming from the local community, which for the most part they are, and given the challenges that exist in that community, I think that people really don't understand how much they go through sometimes just to make it to school in the morning. You can't really picture what your what you step out of your house, how your life's gonna be, and what's gonna end up happening to you or somebody you with. So it's like any major losses, we gonna we gonna have major losses every day, cause we gonna have problems wherever we go. So that one of our major losses is stepping out stepping out that door and walking the streets. We've had student athletes who have um, been evicted, who've had their PG&E turned off. Um, we've had uh, athletes that have experienced people getting shot and calling me and I'm running to get in the car and run and get them from after practice one night. So there's, there's numerous challenges that our student athletes face. You know, with all the pressure in our culture right now on girls to just be so, um, you know, sexualized and just really focused on you know, sexuality and, you know, you see it in videos and you see it on TV, you know, we use um, female sexuality in this culture to sell everything from insurance to, you know, Carl's Jr. hamburgers. So for them to just really focus on something else and to show the world that, yeah, I'm, I may be beautiful, you know, but I'm also strong and I'm intelligent and I'm an athlete. I think that's what it's all about. We were on International and on a corner where there were thousands of people literally on the corner. You had young women who were on lockdown and the pimps were in the cars. The lead person was standing on the streets and she was giving direction by telephone um, to the rest of them. They would not talk to people. It was something to see that on a street where everybody looked like they were free that these young women were being um, contained. It's a real tragedy what's happening uh, with young women in Oakland. All you have to do is drive down International Boulevard and there's certain segments and you look at some of the young ladies and, and they're the same age as, as one of my granddaughters. My advice to the young women of Oakland is to pursue your dream. You know, the, uh, the older you get, you realize that it is really important to do the thing you want to do in life whatever that is um, and if you do that you'll never have to work a day in your life you will always be happy 
I believe that um, young women need to know who they are, um, carry themselves with dignity and grace, and um, in all the grandeur that there is. Basketball, you can escape from anything. Get a ball, go in the gym, and just just let it all out on the court. I mean, problems are still going to be there, but that's just life, period. You just got to know how to get over it and how to keep moving forward. Just to escape from everything, that's what we do. We hoop. We play basketball.